Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's GCJ. There's gonna be a double intro today because I look good right now, and this is the end product of the video of me putting on makeup. But I'm about to look hella busted, and I just wanted to give you a heads up in case you got scared and wanted to run away. Um, put on your seatbelt, grab a snack, and yeah, enjoy this story. Hi, happy 2021. It's been a while. I am finally out of my depression. And I think it's so crazy that I've had over a hundred subscribers. And I just want to say thank you. And I know that I have eye bags, but apparently it's in style now. Like people are doing this TikTok trend. They put like a lot of, I think it was like red or purple eyeshadow to make it look like they have eye bags. And you know, my misery is a new aesthetic. So, um, <laughs> Anyway, let's just go do some makeup. Also, I think I don't look this bad. Maybe it might be the lighting. I have like a ton of lights on right now because it's very gloomy outside. We're gonna go for a kind of like light look or something. Um, do you guys have any New Year's resolution or something you wanna work on? I feel like I'm at that age where I'm just like, it's whatever, I can always work on myself anytime. I don't have to wait till like a new year. Like, why not now? I guess we'll just jump in with brows. I'm trying this new thing. It's called the Elf Instant Brow Lift Pencil. I just feel like I'm an influencer when I do this stuff. All right, well, trust me, okay? I'm gonna link in down below. I'm actually gonna do this off camera because I'm kind of insecure right now. Okay, the brows are done. So now we're just gonna chit chat for you guys out there. We're still unemployed. I graduated last May and I still haven't found a job in the middle of a panoramic view, in the middle of a Panini Express. It's been really hard lately. I did apply for Lululemon the other day because I always wear Lululemon. Might as well work there, you know, but they haven't gone back to me. I just, I don't know if they want me. I was thinking about making a, um, like a vision bird or something, because a lot of people make those for New Year's. And I have a lot of goals that I want to work on and I'm starting to work on some of them which is surprising because I usually get really lazy But I feel like I've processed all the trauma that I have repressed throughout these years You know being quarantined just me myself and my thoughts all the time And I'm surprised that I haven't jumped over the edge yet because sometimes living at home is just way too much I don't know. I guess I learned how to deal with it How do you guys do it? Comment down below. Let me know so I'm turning 25 soon in like two months. And other people out there already have two kids at 25. And I'm still like this. Yes, I am a Pisces. And I just recently got into horoscopes and astrology because I'll, I see it on Twitter all the time and all my friends are into it. I had to learn a little bit about myself through the astrology chart. Is that what you call it? I might need to go see a therapist after actually. If you guys are here, from like seeing my little lemon videos, I'm so sorry that I'm like self-loathing. I'm just sharing my thoughts because I don't know who else out there is also feeling the same way. It's just kind of hard to find people nowadays at least to, you know, connect with that are in the same boat. I mean, is this what they call a midlife crisis or what is it, a quarter life crisis? But as I was talking about like the, um, the vision board, I really want to make it. And if you guys are interested in um seeing how i make one and how we can make one together let me know i'm okay video on it honestly just for you you and me to bond as miss ariana grande says she's manifesting it all so that's what we're gonna do this year too i think i have like southwest airlines flights from last year like the point that i couldn't travel to my cruise so i'm gonna book a random place in the u.s i'm gonna drop a pin on the map and try it out see what happens i hope their policy changes because i was not about to like book a flight right now i don't really feel comfortable you know traveling at the moment all my other friends are traveling like people on social media i feel like it's so irresponsible like girl come on now you know better than that and in the meantime i am still shopping my strange addiction is shopping it's so irresponsible of me I should start investing my money in something, but I'm just not financially like literate in those things. There's just so much information out there and so many scams. Like I am a scam and a fraud, but I'm talking about like money wise. And you know what else I'm into? I'm into thrifting a lot. I found this really nice thrift store place near me and ever since I went there, one time I got um, $7 Lululemon pants that were barely used. 
I think it was never used because the tags are still looking like they've never gone through the wash. And I might do a haul of everything I get there, actually. All of my makeup is actually expired by now. If they look like it's not the greatest color or the best quality, please don't attack me. Now, honestly, circling back to the mental health for this year, I feel like we should normalize cutting out people in our lives who don't give us positive energy. It's like, why are you dragging yourself and stretching yourself out thin for people who don't even pay your rent? Who don't want you to get that bag? Why are you doing that to yourself? You're basically cheating yourself of the best opportunities there are. Lately, I've been distancing myself away from people who are not good for me or who are my friends, but don't really um, treat me the way I treat them. I'd be giving them 110% of me. Whenever they need me, I text back. Whenever they want to talk to me, I'm always available. But whenever I need something or I ask for a little bit of their time, they're kind of just like ignore me or say, and I'm not really available right now. So I'm going to start being nice and kind to myself. So. What you should have gotten from that is prioritize yourself, love yourself, and make time for yourself. Honestly, be kind. Put yourself first. Because at the end of the day, you want to make sure you always got you. Because you're all you got. Think about it. By the way, I'm not mad. All this point thing, I'm not mad. I'm just saying. It's like me putting exclamation points. Don't stretch yourself too thin. I really thought that like a lot of old people hustle within the first few years of their career and then they work until however old they are and then when they retire, that's when they travel and they have fun and try their new hobbies. So I was like, why do I have to wait till I'm old to do that? And then I'm gonna have low back pain, my knees be creaking or whatever. I mean, no shame in that, but my back be hurting now for some reason, carrying all this loyalty. <laughs> um, but what I'm trying to say is, I'm gonna try all the things, all the hobbies I wanna pursue, all the things I'm interested in, I'm gonna try them now. Because I just don't know how long I have on this earth. You know, tomorrow's never promised. After hearing all these murder mysteries, I'm like, wow, you just never know. And I'm not trying to sound morbid, but I feel like everyone out there should always make time for their hobbies. That's why I only wanna work part-time for now, because I wanna make time for, you know, YouTube. I just downloaded uh, Adobe, what's that called, Fresco yesterday, where you can like, um, free draw, is that what called, free draw? Um, as you can tell, I'm not an artist of any sorts at all. I literally have a friend who is so artistic, so artsy, and I'm just so jealous of everything she does. How does your mind, like, think of these things? Like, my mind is always anxious, always depressed. Like, why? Why are the chemicals in my head just not mixing? Okay, so this is one of the things that I got from Teacher Max the other week or the other month that I was like, what? They have Laguna by NARS in Teacher Max for $16, I think. And then I was shopping for gifts the other week and I found my favorite. Well, I've been looking for this perfume for a very, very long time. It's the Chloe perfume and this was like, uh, it was like the, the full size with the ro roller ball, that is. It was only $60, so I snagged that for myself and I completely forgot to buy a gift for the person I was intending to buy a gift for, but that's okay. They eventually got their gift or whatever. ball. Do you think that's enough? Okay, it doesn't really matter because I'm not gonna go see anyone. I'm just gonna work out by myself in the basement. All right, let's contour the nose. This is like free plastic surgery. We're just using our makeup. Sometimes I'm, I kind of like squint my eyes and blur it out to see where the shadows are formed and that's how I determine where to put the bronzer, where to put, you know, like contour because I'm not the best at makeup. Sometimes it looks muddy. No one even tells me if I look bad. They just kind of like stare at me while I'm talking to them and I'm like, I'm not even staring at my face, so which part of my face is bothering you? <laughs> oh, I'm so annoying. I just feel like everyone I meet, I just push them away. Like I'm a repellent after they meet me. Like I met so many people in tennis and I'm so obnoxiously like loud. Like I just move obnoxiously and I'm the loudest one in like all the courts and I'm screaming. I'm always like, I want to challenge that. That did not touch the line. That wasn't out. And over time I was like, wait, they're not inviting me to play tennis anymore. And then I called them out a couple times. But then I realized, wait, they really don't want to play with me. They don't want more to tell me. Like, just be honest, you know? Don't sugarcoat that ish. Just tell me straight up. Just give me ish. Can I curse on YouTube? Is that like a thing? I'm not sure. 
Yeah, so what is it about me that they don't like? I'm not that bad at tennis. I mean, I know I improved a lot. Maybe I'm just that type of person, like I tell people straight up exactly how I feel. And I think it saves both of us time because you're not left wondering at night what you did wrong. And it makes it less awkward. Like, yeah, the other person might feel uncomfortable, but well, at least you were honest with them, right? Maybe that's just not how those people move, but I'm not stressing about it because I don't see those people anymore. I don't know. Just thinking about all the time we spent together is just cringe in my head now. And I used to joke with people saying like, oh, for a career, or like later on down the line, I see myself as like a housewife, you know? And they're like, well, get a job, get a real job, do something for yourself. And I kind of felt bad for a little bit because yeah, I don't want to work for the corporate world. I don't want to be in the nine to five rat race, you know? I kind of want to work for myself, work from home, have time for my hobbies. Like, I'm sorry you want to be, you know, burnt out. No, I have other plans for myself. And at a small period of time, I felt really bad that I didn't have a job because they made me feel bad. Then I was like, I can be a housewife if I wanted to. I want to drive my G-Wagon around to my PTA meetings and tell everyone out there, like, Karen, take a seat, listen to me. I am the president. We'll see. I'm gonna keep you guys updated because as of right now, I am not responsible enough to have a child of my own at all. And being an Asian, can you guys tell I'm Asian? Is it too obvious? Um, I feel ashamed for some reason because I'm, I mean, I'm not up to everyone's expectations as to who I'm supposed to be. It's like, are you not embarrassed? Have you guys seen that meme? I feel like I'm just spitting out memes out there. Forgive me, I have no personality. TikTok and Instagram videos and reels are my personality. I know, um, I, I had to know someone the constitution actually because when I became a citizen, they had to ask me some stuff, but that's long gone now because once I study for something, it just gets deleted, automatically deleted. I don't even ask for it to get deleted. My brain's just like, delete that information we don't need anymore. Let's go. Ooh, we're almost done. This is the exciting part. I just feel like putting highlighter on. I think it makes me look young. I think like when I'm driving down the road, I'm such a cute driver and I'll fall in love with someone who's also driving next to me, but it never happens. I'm just in a rush here in my area. They all go like 80 on 45, but I always go speed limit because I have nowhere to be and I just want to be safe. Safety is sexy. Are you someone who would rather shop for clothes or buy food because so i feel like i'm more of a buying clothes kind of girl i used to be the food type but i realized it just goes through your system really fast whereas clothes if you buy something for like ten dollars it can last you years right and you can resell it and still get a profit we're gonna apply my favorite lip gloss fortune cookie by nyx and i didn't even do a lip liner because whatever who cares Anyway, this is the final product, and if you made it this part to the video, thank you for watching. I hope you comment down below because I love to hear from you, and I love responding to everyone. It might seem creepy that sometimes I get a notification of someone commenting, and then I respond right away, and I'm just like, I promise you that I am not always on my phone, but I'm always on my phone, so I get really excited when someone comments or I see likes, and yeah thank you guys so much and i hope i see you in my next video remember to stay safe and prioritize yourself okay i'm gonna go work out now love you